Painting, praise, painting, how they go? Painting, good praise. Paint, good, paint, good praise. Yeah. We're doing that tomorrow, amen. amen. Saturday morning prayer as well, amen. amen. So we're going to meet for prayer, amen. Get our three hours of power in, amen. amen. And then we're going to have our um, marriage ministry, amen. Our date night, which is much needed, amen. amen. Uh, we will be doing um, singles ministry in June. Jesus, I didn't put that on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll work that out. Amen. The calendar, yeah, you ain't seen me in the calendar yet. So, yeah, we're going to put on that song on for, uh, for the uh, singles. Amen. 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 We will be uh, meeting. Amen. Uh, tonight, uh, y'all know me, I'm, I'm all about discipleship. Amen. I'm all about Amen. giving you an opportunity. I'm all about weight distribution. Amen. Amen. Getting the weight up on me. You know what I'm saying? Put on me. You know, so I'm uh, going to give, amen, my sister, you know, uh, in Christ, we're going to give her an opportunity to come up uh, 10 minutes to share what God laid on our heart. Amen. 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 And then after that, amen, we'll be hearing from my son, uh, Bishop Hammer, Eugene, whatever you want to call him. Elder, you know what I mean? My father, my partner, my best friend, my son. Amen. amen. And sometimes my enemy. <laughs> and whatever one he is, he's doing a thousand at it. <laughs> But I love them dearly. Amen. 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 Boy, help me run my own pool company in high school. Amen. Amen. I thought they were going to call DCL for me the way I work. Amen. 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 I got $500. Amen. You get that class early. I got, I got a job for you. Amen. 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 But uh, nonetheless, um, come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise for our very own. Come on, Sister Jim. Amen. 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 Ten minutes. Amen. Amen. Ten minutes of share with God laid on my heart. Amen. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Tonight, um, God laid it on my heart. I want to talk about um, being anointed. Um, first, I would like to read from um, Luke 4, 18 through 19. Anointing is the burden removing and yoke breaking power of God. Hey. Anointing is that which enables you to do supernatural things. Now I want to go to 1 Samuel 10 and 1. Then Samuel took a flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him and said, It is not because the Lord has anointed you commander over his inheritance. Um, I was reading the book of First Samuel and um, it did something to me to be honest um, I thought about when Samuel was anointed and when you hear about people being anointed you don't really think you just well they're anointed but then when I went deeper into it you know that you can only be anointed if God gives it to you. Amen. So, if God didn't give it to you, you're not anointed. Amen. Amen. So, if God gave it to you, it's a gift. Amen. Amen. A gift from God. Yes. Um, so then as I read, went on, I got to 1 Samuel 15 and 1. Amen. Where God gave Saul specific instructions on what he wanted him to do and how he wanted him to do it. Come on. Saul didn't do that. So as I went on and I, I pondered over this, it upset God. It made God mad that Saul did it how he wanted it to do it. So Samuel went back to Saul and he he told him, you know, God is upset with you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Saul had excuses of yeah. why he did it this way. And, mm -hmm. right. well, I did it, but I did it this way. Mm -hmm. And Samuel said, obedience is better than Come sacrifice. On. On. That's the word. Amen. That's the word. So, Saul wasn't obedient. Mm -hmm. God gave Saul a gift specifically to do what he wanted him to do with it. And Saul did what he wanted him to do with Amen. it. Yeah. 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 Now, Amen. we get to chapter 15. Saul, he admitted to doing wrong because 
He was caring more about people pleasing than God pleasing. Amen. That is where he messed up. That's when it dawned on me. We don't want to mess up like that. When God gives us a gift to do what he tells us to do, we have to do it his way. Exactly how he says. No going on track. No going to the side. Not adding nothing in. Even if we have the best intentions, we have to do it how God tells us to do it. Then it got even heavier on my heart. Because I got to the chapter, well, the moment, where it says, the moment the Spirit of God left Saul. Come on, come on, come on. So God took the anointing away. Come on. So imagine having this amazing gift from God. And because you want it to be hard-headed. You want it to be disobedient. You want it to do it how you want it to do it. God took it away. I say this to say. Don't take it for granted. Yeah. Anything that God gives you, it's not yours. Come on. Yeah. It's to do what He wants you to do. Yeah. How He wants you to do it. It yeah. doesn't matter who says. Yeah. Yeah. What the people say. Yeah. What the people think. Yeah. Do what God tells you to do. Amen. And be obedient. Amen. 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 Definitely, uh, it was in your time. Amen. 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 Man, that bless me. Amen. 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 That's definitely the truth. Amen. 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 Uh, Saul. Saul did what he wanted to do. You know, the spirit of the Lord departed from him. Amen. Disobedience. That's right. You know, that's why God said, I "Require obedience. Keep all that sacrifice. Yeah, all that praying. All that coming out. If you ain't gonna be obedient. You wasting your time. Amen. That's all I tell y'all. God's gonna be the Lord of all." Amen. The Lord of all, he's not going to be the Lord at all. Amen. That's why he said, do all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, yes. yeah. everything. See, Paul, Saul was the people's choice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, God yeah. didn't want to give them a king. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one thing I love about that, man, that gives you, that lets you know that you can tug at God's heart long enough for him to give you something that's not in his will. That's good. You better hear me. Yeah. The children of Israel asked God for quail. Uh, yeah. They wanted meat. They, they were tired of eating manna. He gave them so much meat to what bust out their stomach. And even the king, you know, they, 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 they kept asking the king. He told Sam, he said, man, listen. He said, they, reject, they rejected me. Yeah, yeah go on. He gave them Saul. Can I get amen? amen? But David was after God's own heart, so amen. Saul had to get up out of there. Yeah. Amen. But that was real good, woman of God. Amen. 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 He was sound. You were sound. You kept, you hit your point. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got something to work with now. Amen. Amen. Come on, man of God. You next. Amen. Amen. There's another preacher now. Amen. Amen. Y'all give Miss Jill another hand. Amen. It ain't easy to stand up here. Amen. 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 Real quick, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I love you. I honor you. God, I need you tonight, God. It's in you that I move and breathe and have my being, God. I give you permission to simply have your way, God. I ask that you would increase, that I may decrease, God. That you would send your word to do exactly what you desire it to do, God. Set free, heal, and deliver like only you can, God. If you don't move, nothing will happen, God. I am totally dependent on you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Man, that was good, Mr. Jill. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right, preacher. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're going to come from Jeremiah 29. Amen. Very familiar text. It was funny because I actually wanted to deal. Man, I was feasting on the word that Pastor had preached um, about the one with the issue of blood. And that was really, man, I really wanted to go with that. But God kind of bent one on me at the last minute. Amen. So Amen. we're going to go with Jeremiah chapter 29. Uh, we're going to start at verse 4. Just to give a little bit of background, yes, uh, Jeremiah had wrote uh, you know, a prophetic letter, amen, to the people basically telling them, hey, y'all finna be held into captive, y'all gonna be there for a while, and this just how y'all need to position yourselves and, 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 and prepare yourselves for what's about to happen, amen, and so here we have it, we in the midst, he's giving them instruction, amen, and uh, yeah, so let's dive in, amen. Mm -hmm. Verse 4, it says, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem into Babylon 
Um, and there are times we want to go through things that God is his it's his will that we go through. Amen. And so again, here we have it. They're in captive, but it was God's will for them to be in captive. And not only are they in captive, they've been to sit here and bake for a while. So God I told them, listen, go ahead, create your families, get you a house, build you a house, make it look good, amen. So because you've been to sit here for a while. Amen. 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 Verse five it says, Build ye houses and dwell in them and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. Amen. Take ye wives and begot sons and daughters and take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands that they may bear sons and daughters that ye may be increased there and not diminished. Man, oftentimes we go through adversity and man, we take our eyes off of what's really happening. Amen. Yes. Anytime, there are many times God allows us to go through adversity. And the adversity, we try to buck it. Amen. We try to rush the process. But the truth of the matter is the adversity is sent to prune us. Amen. And to get the things that God desires to be out of us. Amen. And so typically it's prolonged because of the fact that we don't respond the way God desires for us to respond. Mm -hmm. And he's given them clear instruction. Listen, you finna go through hell. You finna go into a land. You finna be there. Amen. But while you're there, I still need you to set up tent. I need you to be comfortable. Amen. Yes, you're going through financial struggles. Yes, you're driving a car you don't desire to drive. But I need you to wash this car. I want you to make it look good. Still smile and be kind because I'm about to sit you here for a while. You finna go through some things. Amen. And while you just still keep living, still keep your head up, continue to go on with your day and do what you know to do in God. Amen. Amen. But this adversity, it's my will. It's my will. And, and man, a lot of times when we're going through things, the enemy will try to make us think, one, we're doing something wrong. Amen. Or sometimes he'll try to get in our head and make us think that it's not God's will. But yeah. it, the truth of the matter is there are times because a lot of times it's it's a result of things we done we did before we came on this side of the blood. Amen. 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 And so we we've, we've now positioned ourselves to have to go through certain pruning yeah. and the process. Yeah. Amen. To demuck us so that we can be used. Amen. 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 Verse uh, seven it says, and seek the peace of the city whether I have caused you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof ye shall have peace. Amen. Man, it's so important. We get in adversity, and the first thing we do is we want to call and vent, and we want to try to manipulate and figure out and strategize. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is all you do, in, in adversity, that's the time we should really be seeking God even the more. Amen. Yeah. The God he's sitting there, he don't hide from his people in adversity. He's not hide. This ain't hide and seek. Amen. God has true. He's there waiting on you to give instruction, but because our first response isn't to seek ye first the kingdom, we eventually, you know, we get to a place to where we eventually seek God. We eventually yeah. cry out to God. But why is it that our first response isn't, okay, God, suffer it to be so. I'm here now, God. I got to go through this. Yeah. I understand yeah. because I know the word of God that trouble ain't going to last always. Yeah. Pastor said all the time, seasons has got to change. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And in this, yeah. Jeremiah is telling them, listen, you're going to be here for 70 years. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So go ahead and get equipped. But I can find hope in knowing that, wait a minute, I'm going to be here only for 70 years. Yes, that appears to be a long time, but my problems have an expiration date. Amen. Amen. God never puts us in a place. He knows our future. Amen. Amen. And so it's so important, man, that we are responding when we're going through. But more importantly, we realize that sometimes trials and things that we go through is the will of God concerning Amen. our life. Amen. 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 Um, it says, verse 8, it says, For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams which ye cause to be dreamed. Man, why is it that when we go through stuff, we go seeking and searching for answers as if the Bible gonna change, amen, or the, the, the man of God or the woman of God that we sitting under ain't giving us sound advice, amen. We, we so used to this microwave mentality, amen. Everything going fast, everything, you know, but the truth of the matter is, and Pastor teaches us this, that God does not operate in time, amen. He sits in eternity and he looks down and governs time. So what may seem long to us, it ain't long to God, amen. And so his thoughts are way higher. Our mind can't comprehend, amen. So we have to remember, man, our posture while we're going through adversity and really our perspective on how it looks determines the outcome of the adversity because we get in seasons and we keep have to repeat them because we study trying to buck the process. Then we are six foot, 350 pounds in the third grade in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And why is it that we got to keep, we habitual offenders. I'm talking to me. We got to keep going through the same test, not knowing that, listen, I'm here because when I caused it. 
Yeah. Amen. They, they were here because of their own sins, their own, you know, the things that they were doing. I'm here because I've caused this. So now I got to put on my big four drawers and deal with this. Amen. And not only do I have to deal with it, I've got to deal with it the way God desires for me to deal with it. Man, too often we make these adversities like they're a huge amount. Everything that happened to us becomes catastrophic. It's not that big to God. Man, we have to, we have to program our mind. We, money, it ain't that big to God. He is the source. Man, money that marriages, yes. relationships, he can turn the yeah. heart of a king. It's yeah. nothing for him to restore a relationship. Yeah. You know, why do we get so caught up on the small vicissitudes of yeah. life, man? These are small matters to God, and we have to remember that all things work all. together, amen? All. all things work together for the good. All. If you say you love God, yeah. it, it's working for your good. If, you, if your actions say that you love God, your yeah. heart, you surrender. You know, we get on the other side of the blood, man. I was really thinking, and this really helped me because I'm like, man, all the bad, dumb decisions I made when I wasn't saved, God came through yeah, every yeah, time. Yeah, it was my own accord. So why do some things you got to think about? Look at somebody say, just think about it. Just think about it. So I'm in sin, shacking, juking, jobbing, and God coming through every time. So what, why do we think he's going to allow us to get on this side of the blood, confess and profess our love for him, and then not come through? He, he's not a man that he should allow, nor the son of man that he should have to repent. So we have to be reminded, man, that God is not going to allow the enemy to outdo us. It may look we get in our head again because we have this microwave mentality that I gotta get through this and it this gotta change. Man, listen, God is saying sit right there. Not only do you sit right there, take care of that season. That advert that little problem that you in, decorate it, pray over it, anoint it, that car that's racking, go get your oil changes on time. Go ahead and prepare yourself because there is a prepared end for you. Amen. Amen. Verse 9 it said, For they prophesy falsely. Um, unto you in my name. I have not sent them, says the Lord. Be mindful, man, of who you are seeking advice from in this season, Amen. especially in adversity. Because Amen. typically when we're in adversity, we're vulnerable. Amen. We want somebody to tell us something good. But the truth is, you, you, you just got itching ears. Come Amen. On, on, you just you, you want to heal. I need a word. Amen. I need a word. No, you need to sit down and be still and Amen. seek God. Amen. Amen. And go to his word because the answers that we need are here. Yes. Amen. Amen. There is nothing that we need or that we face in life that the word of God is not equipped Amen. to handle for us. Amen. 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 And we have to be reminded of that. Amen. 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 Man, um, I was reading 2 Corinthians 14 and 7. This light, this light affliction is yet for a little while. Yeah. For a man, all, all right. it takes for us is to get in the word of God and you'll find right. yourself, man, yeah. Yeah. like yeah. David said, I had to encourage myself. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You, it, this word is a light into our path and a lamp. You know, this will, it will keep us. Amen. Right. Amen. Um, let's go over deeper. Uh, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Again, man, I know it feels like it's a long time. I know it feels, but God already got it worked out, man. First lady always say, this is a fixed fight. We're not fighting. All we got to do is go through it. And the, the, the battle is already won, and you'll respond differently when you truly know. Because I'm convinced some of us just don't believe it. Yeah. Because yeah. the way we were there is no way if we truly believe that the battle was already won, we would be responding. I'm talking to me too. We would be responding and freaking out when life happens. Amen. The Bible says we're not exempt from trials and tribulations. We Just because I said, God, I accept you in my heart. I believe you died on the third day and you rose on the third day. That don't exempt life from happening to me. Amen. But my response should be different. I shouldn't be responding like the people in the world. Amen. I should be responding. Yes, my heart was grieved when the children died in Texas. But I understand that God never sleeps nor slumbers, right, right. and nothing slip past His throne. Amen. Amen. And so everything doesn't, nothing just happens. Amen. Everything about God, because He is so concerned about us, is intentional. Amen. He's literally playing chess with our life. He's strategic. Amen. And so when we know this, Amen, we respond differently. Amen. 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 Uh, verse 12, it says, Then ye shall call upon me, and ye shall go pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Why do we get in adversity and think that God don't hear us? I, I never understood. And I, I remember going through stuff, and I'm like, I, man, I'm, I don't even feel like praying. You know, I've, I've come to realize it's really a sense of pride. You really think you really think you you doing this and you got the answers. The truth of the matter is if you simply talk to God, he is waiting. He's literally sitting there like, dang. 
I got the answer. Just talk to me. Come on. Yeah. You done called Mama. You done yeah. called Daddy, Come Beverly, on. Shirley. All, you done called all of them. Yeah. But I'm just waiting on you to talk. I've got instru yeah. clear divine instruction. Amen. Yeah. The man of God told you what to do, but it wasn't what you wanted to hear. So yeah, yeah I, I'm waiting on a word from God. No, God gave you a word. Yeah. Amen. 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 Go through it. That's yeah. the word. Amen. And so this is what we have tonight, man. I'll just come to encourage you that one, God hasn't expected in for us. Amen. Amen. And so we've got to learn how to just go through life. Amen. Amen. And it ain't always easy. Guess what? Family members die when you save and love God. Yeah. You experience financial troubles yeah. when you die. You know, when you say you love God. Amen. Yeah. You go through divorces and relationships. Yeah. And again, a lot of times that happens because we made premature decisions yeah. when yeah. we yeah. wasn't yeah. under the blood. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so now we've got to come over here and accept it. Pastor yeah. always say we are free to make whatever decision we want. Amen. But we are bound by the consequences. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so we have to be reminded. Here they are, 70 years of bondage. And he told them, look, after them 70 years, I'm going to come with you. I'm going to be with you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to come. I'm gonna be. But you got to go through this, sugar baby. Yeah. It is what it is. Amen. And so we have to understand that this is our process. Amen. Amen. And so when we're doing it, we must do it so in his will. Amen. 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 Verse uh, 14, it says, and I will be fond of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations, from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. I will bring you again into the place where I caused you to be carried away captive. Because you have said, the Lord have raised up his prophets in Babylon. Amen. It says, um, last verse, it said, Nor the Lord said to the king, wait, I think I'm just, amen, no, 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 no. Amen. Yeah, yeah, no. He said, because you have said the Lord have raised it up, the prophets in Babylon. Amen. Listen, man, God has so much in store for us. Man, he desires, it is not God's desire that any man, amen, will perish, but that we all will come into repentance and know him. Amen. God does not desire you to be broke. He does not desire you to live paycheck to paycheck. He don't desire you to be single forever. But amen, there is a process that we've got to go through. Amen. And the truth of the matter is we just got to accept it and deal with it. Amen. It's a similar like, uh, shortage anyway, so we got to get off the, we forced to get off the milk. Amen. It's time to eat the meat. We're going through life. Amen. Amen. And we're growing. We're maturing because we understand the word of God. Amen. And where God has taken us, you don't want, he would be a bad parent to give us something prematurely without yeah. going through our process. Yes. Amen. Amen. A parent ain't going to go buy a car when their child ain't got a license and don't know how to drive. Amen. It just, I'm not going to give you the keys to a vehicle because what's going to happen, it will lead to your demise. Amen. Amen. And so God is saying, go through the process. Amen. Take the test. Go through the adversity because he is still with us. Amen? Amen. 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 The word of God for the people of God. Amen. 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 Hey, Pete, y'all know I ain't going to re-preach no message. Amen. Amen. Both of them did an excellent job. I just want to hit on something Amen. and recapitulate on what he was sharing. Is, um, what I love about that scripture, uh, Jeremiah 29 and 11, and I like what he did. He read through it. Most preachers go to 29, and yeah. uh, go, they go to 11. Yeah. You know, I know the thoughts I think towards you, but at yeah. the beginning, he's telling them that you, you know, you 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 played with it, and I'm about to give you over to yeah. it. Yeah. But when I give you over to it, you're still supposed to serve me. Yeah. And a lot of times when people yeah. go, you know, when we backslide and get back out there, we forget all about God. Yeah. No, you should cleave to him all the more so that you can get back in. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Yeah. He takes no pleasure. It had to take him a long time for you to actually, you know, backslide and yeah. slowly mature back. Yeah, amen. You know, you don't see it. You start really start being complacent. Amen. You start moving forward. Whenever you start moving forward, you're moving backwards. Amen. But this is the incline. Can I get an amen? I keep telling you, you're going higher. Yeah. You can't stand still on the incline. You're moving backwards. Can I get an amen? amen? So God is all about progression, but he told him you're going to be in bondage, but I want you to serve me. I am still God. Amen. I am still on the throne, and you're still mine. Can I get amen? amen? But that's what I love about verse 11. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Yes. You know, not what you think I should be thinking. That's right. You think I'm going to be angry. No, no, no. I got thoughts towards you. Amen. I got an expectation. I'm on the back end and I'm with you amen. through it. Can I get amen? amen? He said, he'll never leave us nor forsake us. That's what I always tell him, man. A lot of females, they single. Someone out, I'm lonely. You, you, you might feel lonely, but you're never alone. Amen. You're never alone. And this is what you have to know. Amen. I got to keep you out of a lot of mess. He's with you. You got to know that. Can I get amen? That's the purpose of service. He's educating us so that we can go out and live for him. This word right now is not for this service. It's for life. For whatever's going to hit you going forward. Can I get an amen? But whenever you find yourself stuck in some bondage, self-inflicted, you still 
still serve God through it. Amen. Can I get amen? amen? I don't care if you find yourself, you bound God, factored it in. No, He does not love, He doesn't take pleasure in your sin, but He loves you. Amen. Can I get amen? amen? He's not happy with your decision making, but there's nothing that you could ever do that will separate you from the love of God. Amen. Ever. Amen. Ever. Amen. And I'm all constantly telling you, and I don't say Amen. this for you to become habitual, but I'm going to let you, you go and make mistakes. Amen. But when you do, don't throw in the towel. Amen. That's what I always say. If you fall, fall forward. Fall in the house. Amen. Fall in here. Don't leave here. Amen. Somebody here you should be able to confide in. Yes. You should be able to look around. Can I get an amen? amen. God will use amen. me as somebody to minister to you. Amen. Keep coming. Amen. Don't leave this setting. Amen. Please hear me. Yes. Do not leave this setting. This housing yes. took him and took you too long to get here. Yes. This is the transition. This is where he played chess and he divinely placed you here. All he needs you to do is take place in the transformation, yes. the change, yes. the denying of yourself. One day at a time. When you come to a point and you feel you're so clever. Can I get an amen? amen? That's the part that he wants you to change on. It's so easy for you to do it and real quick to do it like this. But you hear your feeling, your spirit, you should wait. That's the suffering. Those are That's how we suffer in God. Can I get an amen? Suffering to our will. Telling yourself to stand down. Trusting God to show you a better way. And I love what he said on the Bible saying, um, does despise not the day of small beginning. Yeah. Yes. God loves small beginnings. He loves it. He called us. He fight. This is the life he's giving you. And then he's taking all the mess you done brought to the table. Yeah. And now you want to get over here and complain because you didn't have a degree and you got to live in subsidized housing. Come on. Right. And you got to be on food stamps for a season. Right. But you did this. You didn't go to school. Yeah. You didn't apply yourself. But he's providing your every need and you not have a heart, you don't have a heart of gratitude. God can't stand that. You're not can I get a kill hello? Because you catching the bus. It's only for a season. The moment you find that man, let me tell you something. The fruit is for the situation, y'all. I know I've been on that man. The fruit is peace. It's for the chaos. Yeah, yeah. Peace ain't for a peaceful moment. Yeah. You don't need peace for a peaceful. You need yeah. peace without hell breaking loose. Yeah. That's what the peace is for. Yeah. Joy is to fight depression. Yeah. You don't need joy. Well, like I tell you, we don't, don't always say in times of peace, what? Prepare for, yeah. Prepare for war. All that key, key, key. Yeah. All that in your emotions and yeah. happy because it's a new job. And Man, look here. Tighten up, sis. Because yeah. 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 the devil has a royal life. Now, ain't you, enjoy the moment, enjoy the season, but you get too far on the happy side. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes, sir. He got the right portion of, 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 of the patch. He finna snatch out your head. Yes, he do. Can I get an amen? Amen. I'm just being. <laughs> <laughs> and the Holy Ghost ain't got no weed. You bald head in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Cause you walk around here all fickle in your emotions. Can I get an amen? amen. But on everything I love, man, that was a good word, man, from both of y'all. Amen. 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 Man, listen, man. Shit, man, listen. God want obedience, man. Amen. You know, cause everybody in here at the place is sacrifice, but are you being obedient? Good. One thing I always said, I can't never stand before God and tell him what I'm not gonna do. Amen. As a minister? Yeah, I tell a lot of y'all, I say, that's dangerous as a minister, man. God's looking to see God. God said, if he could trust you. Yeah. See, that's the thing about what it David. The thing about David, man, I can tell you, I'm telling you, how many, how many times David committed adultery? Once. One time. One time. One time. Yeah. One time. How many times he had somebody murdered? One, One time. time. Yeah. And he repented yeah. and took off from them. Yeah. He was a man after God's own heart. Yeah. Yeah. He messed up one time. Yes, yeah. he did. He paid for his sin, but he went up to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. When he was running for his life, God sent 300 people. Yeah. He immediately responded and led them people. Yeah. He wasn't talking about his situation. Come he on. showed God that God could trust him. That's God good. said if he could trust you. Amen. You better hear me. Amen. If you under the sound of my voice, God has people depending on what he's doing in your life. This is not about you. The hell is cutting you for the people. Come on. Amen. It's cutting you. When I backslid, it was for y'all. Yeah. I had to go back there and get some more power for you. Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man, listen to that though. Right. Stuff that comes through on the daily with real life, boy, you got to eat yeah. I thank God for it, though. I wouldn't want it no other way. Amen. But God is cutting you for the people, y'all. Yes. It ain't about you. The fruit Amen. that you're birthing is not for you. It's for the people. 
Come on, come on, man. So when you birth in your life, kind of, it's going to be the cushion to blow some flip mouth sister that's going to come in and get flipped with you. And you should have enough peace to love on her. Love her through it. Because God is going to use you to raise her up. Can I get an amen? amen? So what are you doing in your life? That's why I would say this version of you cannot be exist six months up the road. Because you about to meet a you. Yes. Come on, man. <laughs> you about to, so you got to get out of the way because the you you about to be off the chain. Yeah. Yeah. And see, when you meet a you, you're going to be so patient. You're going to be like, man, you remind me so much of myself. Yeah. And you're going to be so patient. Yeah. You're going to be able to walk them through everything. Yeah. You're going to be able to, you're going to, every little thing, you're going to be able to, when they don't even listen, you're going to patiently wait because God's going to send them right back to you because it's the chemistry that he's birthed, that he's amen. developed. Can I get amen? amen? So right now, while you're on the potter's world, it's not about you. Amen. So stop cursing your crisis. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Come on, y'all, man. Come on, y'all. Come on, stand to your feet. I'm about to ride. Well, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Heavenly Father, I love, praise, magnify, because I'm going to do